It is time now for unusual activity. Pete Najarian joining us from Minneapolis with the very latest. Pete, what do you see for us today? I got some good stuff for you. You know, the gambling industry has been very interesting, and obviously those that are attached to Macau, recently those numbers weren't what people expected, sold off many of those various names, including Melco Crown. So I like what we're seeing in there today because they have pushed up their earnings. They're going to be the early part of this week. It's going to be very aggressive. But what I like what we're seeing today is the move to buy some of these upside calls into this earnings number. Whenever we see that, Judge, that, that gives you an opportunity. They're only 80 cents. They're just out of the money call. You can see them in front of you. They're, this is going to be pretty interesting. They're buying the 25 strike call. So how aggressive will this be? Will the stock be able to bust up and through that number? I own the stock. I don't own the calls because I really like the stock. I think it's been oversold at these levels. I like win as well. We've been seeing it in pen gaming as well today, some aggressive activity. So pretty bullish around many of these various names right now. I got a second one for you as well. Bed Bath Please & Beyond. Go. This one's pretty interesting because this is a stock that was given up for dead. And, you know, when you looked at their most recent earnings report, earnings were fine, but the revenue wasn't there. The same store sales really caused this stock to get sold off. But what we're seeing today is maybe there's going to be coming a turn. Now, they don't have earnings all the way out until September, but maybe there's a move to the upside. Obviously, a large short interest here, Judge, so that's something as well. But they're going to the last week in August, the August 31st expiring calls, buying the 21 and a half calls there, only paying 17 cents, but they're buying enough of those to be meaningful, and this is part of a spread as well, so interesting to see that. They're also buying shorter term July 27th strike, or J July 27th expiring calls as well, the 19 and a half, so aggressive buying in Bed Bath & Beyond. Is it finally going to move? They've got great competition against Target, Walmart, Amazon, you name it, Wayfair, but they look like maybe they're starting to make one of those turns like we saw out of Macy's not that long ago. Yeah, interesting stuff. Pete, thank you very much. Great to be with you, brother. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.